Hey guys, welcome to part two. Stand by for a horizontal and vertical soldering demonstration. All right, guys, real quickly before we jump over to the vise to do the demonstration, one more step, which is often missed and should not be missed. You have to ream the inside of your tubing. You must, after you cut a piece of copper with a tubing cutter, it looks like this. And you can see there's, there's burrs inside or rough spots inside and actually the diameter, you know, uh, gets to be minimally a little less because you're actually squeezing the cut. The cutting wheel actually squeezes some of that copper. So you have to go in with a with with your reamer, and what you have to do is to get it to look like the piece in my right hand here. I don't know if you can see the difference, but there's a marked difference in the two pieces of copper. So remember, after you cut, you have to ream, and I do that through use of the built-in reamer on my number 10 cutter here. And quickly, I'll bring this up for you to take a look at. But there is my number 10 cutter. And this reamer just very simply pops in like that. So you got to ream your tubing, guys. Don't miss this step. It's often missed. And a lot of guys will say they don't do it. Don't miss it. You want your copper tubing to be nice and smooth. So when that water is rushing through the pipe, we don't want any restrictions. Okay, let's get over to the bench. Okay, here we are at the bench and I have my half inch copper set up in my vise. And I'm gonna walk you through the process. Uh, as I showed you in the previous clip, we're gonna to have to clean everything. So I am cleaning the fitting with the brush out of frame because I don't have a lot of room here. So I will clean the inside of my fitting and you can probably hear that and that's cool. And then I will bring the fitting up to show you that I in fact have buffed that out very nicely. Nice and clean, nice and shiny. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my scotch Bright pad. We're gonna buff up this piece of copper. We wanna get all that oxidation off of it very important. Got to shine that up, buff it up. Next step in the process, we're going to grab our flux and we will put our flux on our copper tube as well as inside of our copper fitting. Both sides, guys. Do both sides. All right, now we're going to slip this on here and we are going to proceed to do this joint. So bear with me while I strike up my map of gas and behold a solder joint. Now guys, that's it. You may be saying to yourself, wow, that was fast. He didn't use a lot of solder. That's absolutely correct. They didn't use a lot of solder. I actually used approximately a half inch, half inch in length of, of, of this solder. Um, I often see guys uh, going into the, um, the soldering process and what they'll do is, while they have the torch on the bottom, they are continually feeding this in while it's pouring out of the bottom. I don't know what that's about. I, I guess they feel, wow, it's coming out, so it must be in. Uh, not necessary, guys. You need a half inch of solder for half inch tubing, three quarters of an inch of solder for three quarter inch tubing, one inch for one inch, so on and so forth, up the scale. That's all you need to fill up the cavity, guys. No need to be wasting solder. Totally unnecessary. All right, next step, we are going to get our damp cloth and give this a little bath here and I will demonstrate how nice and clean that comes. 
All right. We did a horizontal joint. Let's do a vertical joint. Same process. Now, this brush here is a little, little on the loose side. So as I stated before, when these get, you're going to see, let me show you this. They start to get tapered. When they get tapered, they kind of lose their cleaning ability in the clockwise direction. So let's, let's go in the counterclockwise direction. And that actually gets the job done. And there we go. Nice and shiny clean. We're going to get our flux. I will get a small piece of copper here. And you can hear me clean that. There's my piece of copper. Flux that up. Let's get that in here. Nice and nice. A little snug, but that's all right. There we go. And now I'm going to just turn this a touch ever so slightly so that you get a better, better I just want to adjust this, guys. Just bear with me a second here. Okay, and we will proceed. Now, what I will tell you is this. I was taught to go from one side to the, to the opposite side with the flame. And I'll tell you that with large diameter pipe, you're going to have to do that. But because I'm using map gas and I'm using my turbo torch tip, and this is only half inch tubing, this is gonna this is gonna fill up nicely and pretty quick. I'll go through the motions for you. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing, as we say. I did not use a lot of solder. I did not continually hold the solder on here and just feed it in, feed it in, feed it in, especially on a vertical joint. When that happens, that solder that falls through, you know, unlike the horizontal joint where it's going to come out the bottom, with a vertical joint, that solder is going to continue to flow inside the pipe and the fitting. And, and that's going to be a bad thing because if some of that solder breaks loose later on, that's going to get it caught up in your faucets and it's going to get throughout your plumbing system and it's not going to be a very nice thing. So, guys, this is not difficult to do. If you follow the steps I laid out for you, it's really not that hard to do. Let me get this out of here and see if I can give you a view of these two joints. Let me just pop this out of the vise a second. And there we are. Guys, this is not difficult to do. If you follow my instructions step by step, I mean, you're not going to be able to miss. It's relatively simple. Uh, and again, if you have questions about anything you've seen on this video or any of the videos I've done, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. That's info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. I am there to answer questions for you. We got that back in. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Listen, thanks again for coming by, and as I always say, happy plumbing, guys.